The new Black Ops 6 Zombies map, Terminus, has a really good easter egg and an absolutely insane boss fight. So today, I want to go over a guide on each step on how to complete this. First things first, when you load into the map, you need to go and turn on power and pack a punch. And then you do need to get a Beam Smasher Wonder Weapon, and you can either get that from the box, the Sam Trials, or do the free uh, Wonder Weapon Easter Egg to get it for free, which I'm going to have linked in this video here now. Because you do not actually have to do this Easter Egg to complete the main Easter Egg, but you do need to get a Beam Smasher Wonder Weapon. So whether you build the Beam Smasher or get it from the box, you can now start the main Easter Egg. So for the first step that you're going to need the Beam Smasher for, is there are four tentacle traps on this map. And one of them is going to have a key card spawned underneath it, and this is different every game. So as you spawn in, you can actually start looking through these traps as you're opening up the map so you know where it's at ahead of time. But uh, the locations are there's one trap right outside of spawn in the jail cell. The next one is near Jug in the living quarters, right here. And then there are two down in the bio lab entrances, one going to the tunnels and one going to the minecart area. So the key card sitting on the ground is going to look like this. And when you find the one with the key card on the ground, you can turn the trap on and start shooting the tentacles with the beam smasher. And you're going to see this hard drive fall down. Then you can pick up this hard drive and go and bring it to Peck. And then Peck is going to give some dialogue here about Nathan, Maya's brother, being down in the main chamber area. So after that, you can actually go down to the main chamber area and interact with it, and you'll see Nathan inside. And then it's going to ask for an access code so you can open it. And the number for this code is going to be three different areas around the map to find it. The order of this code is going to be the same every time, so make sure you look at the numbers and the locations in the right order that I'm going to show you now. The first one's going to be right outside of spawn in the interrogation rooms next to Quick Revive here. In these cells, there's a clock on the wall and you're actually going to take the number that the hour hand is on. So mine is on 7, so my first number to this code is going to be 7. The second one is going to be in the mess hall on this bulletin board there's going to be a playing card on there, and this playing card is also number 7, so my second number is going to be 7 again. And the last one's going to be over here in the engineering room, and it's going to be the days since last injury, as I have a 6 here. So my code I can go down and punch in the main chamber is going to be 776. So after this, you're going to want to make sure you're decently set up, because the next step is going to be like a mini boss fight. And once you're set up and you're feeling confident for it, there are these valves on the main chamber here, and you have to turn them simultaneously, simultaneously to how many players are in the game. So if you're on solo, you only gotta do one, but if you have two, you gotta have two guys do it at the same time. So when you activate these two valves, it's gonna do a lockdown and a boss fight down here. Maya's brother Nathan is a huge bullet sponge, so just be sure to play it safe and do circles around the biolabs area, and just to keep putting your ammo in him, and I would recommend pack-a-punching at least twice if you can. Slowly but surely, you will get his health down and you will kill him, and a cutscene will play and you will be on to the next step. Immediately after this boss fight, you can dive down into the water to find this keycard glowing orange. Then you can make your way up to the communication center room and turn on this computer here. And then you're going to hear Strauss and Peck talk about uh, the power being cut to the island, so you need to find these power connectors. They're actually located out in the big boat on the water, so you're going to take a small boat out there, go underneath the boat here and you'll see this trap door up this ladder. Go up into that trap door and you're going to see the two connectors sitting on the table. But watch out though, right when you pick one up, make sure you're decently set up for this. It's actually going to lock you in there and do a lockdown. And it can get kind of intense in there as it's a really small area. So just make sure you're set up for that. So after the lockdown, you can take these connectors to where they need to go. And they will slow you down a little bit while carrying them, but you can place them down if you need to. But there are three possible places that these can go, but there's only two in each game you need to do, but it's different every game. The three locations are, there's one below the sea tower here. There's also one on the big island near Armor 3, right here. And there's also one in the sea caves by Speed Cola. And just remember, you only need to do two out of three of these. One of these locations is already going to have a connector in it, but it's different every game. And while you're doing this, it does spawn manglers and more zombies, so look out for that. If you're on solo, you're just going to have to make two trips doing this. But once you get both connectors in, you are now on to the next step. You can now go see Peck, and Peck's going to hand over the hacker device. And only one player can pick this up, so whoever picks up the hacker device has to do this next step involving hacking three different buoys around the map. 
If you just go hop on a boat and circle around the island, you'll see these three buoys no problem. They even have bugs hanging out by them, kind of protecting them, so you know you're at the right spot here. But once you get to the buoy, just go up and hold square even though there's no prompt and you'll start to hack it. And you gotta hack three within this time limit here. And then once you're done hacking the three, start making your way into the bio labs because it's gonna go right into the next step. You're going to get some dialogue from Modi here saying that she's actually placed bombs in the bio labs and she's gonna blow up the whole island. So you got five minutes to go in there to defuse three different bombs. And I suggest bringing monkey bombs for this on solo and co-op honestly because if you start defusing a bomb, you can't stop defusing it until it's over. So like if you go in there and commit to it, like and you start getting hit, you're just gonna have to take hits and go down. So yeah, there's two bombs down on this lower level near Me Melee Macchiato here. And the third bomb is actually kind of up here, tucked underneath this area that was kind of hard to find for us here. But after you defuse all three bombs, you are now ready to start getting set up for the boss fight. This boss is a massive bullet sponge, and it's also pretty hectic in there with all the zombies and manglers and stuff it spawns too. So make sure you have uh, level three pack punch guns, make sure you have your perks, bring in whatever kind of gobble gums you can bring in, because this one's actually pretty tough. Once you're ready for the boss fight, you just need to go hit square on these doors down here, and everybody needs to vote and agree to go into it. So once you're in the boss fight, there's actually three different phases of this boss, and you need to just start chipping away at his health. He has critical spots that do more damage to him, as you can see that are red here on his shoulders in the first phase. You can always shoot his tentacles out in the distance for some damage, but uh, that just kind of destroys the tentacles to help from things getting shot at you. And you can choose either circle around this whole arena, but if you stay close up on the deck here, you could also have room to circle and stay close here and not really have to worry about those tentacles out there that much. The main thing you need to look out for here is when the boss does his slam down move. If you have no armor, it will insta down you. And if you do have armor, it'll take like a plate away and kind of knock you over to the side. So be very, very careful and just keep an eye on him when he's doing a slam and make sure you're out of the way of the slam the best you can be. When you start to chip away at enough health, the boss will actually go away for a minute here, indicating that you are now on phase two. When he comes back up, the critical ports are pretty much the same. You're just gonna see these red boils you can shoot out on his shoulders and mouth area, and that's where he's gonna take the most damage. But on the second phase here, you're going to see his tentacles now have these boil things on him now, and you actually have to destroy both of those tentacles to move on. Now on to phase three, you're going to see his tentacles that you broke sitting over the edges of the dock that are now blocking off the access to the outer part of the docks. And uh, the parts you want to shoot at him now is still going to be the mouth when it's red, but also the eyeballs, especially when you see him turning blue. He'll be uh, charging up to do a big wipe attack, and if you're not like hidden behind something back here, or if you don't jump in the water, he's going to down everybody with this attack. So be very, very careful. But you have to shoot his eyes when they're glowing blue like this, and that's going to give you the most critical damage possible. And now you also have to look out for like his tongue attack. Yeah, he'll stick his like tongue out and grab your guy and start slowly pulling him in. And I believe you can shoot him enough, he'll drop you, but it's kind of tough. He'll suck you in and he'll insta down you. And he can do this to multiple players at once and just end the game. So you gotta be careful with that tongue. So yeah, you just gotta slowly chip away at him. Use whatever gobble gums can help you. Use chopper gunners, whatever you can. Just use it in here because uh, it, it, he's, he's a bullet sponge, this guy. But chip away at him and you'll see his health get very low and you will finally kill and destroy the boss. Then the cutscene will play. And after the cutscene, it's actually going to give you the option to keep playing or to end the game. And if you choose to keep playing, it's going to reward you with a ton of loot as in points and salvage and some ray guns here you can see. So yeah, pretty cool reward for that. But I hope this guide helps you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe for more Black Ops 6 zombie videos.